Okay. We know it can stitch the heavy stuff. Now to amuse the Monty Python fans, let's try something completely different. This is a spool around a Tex 15 compared to the Tex 90 I was just using. It's like cobwebs. So, stuff on here. See, relatively speaking, the Tex 90 is like cable compared to this lighter stuff. I will definitely need to switch to a smaller needle. stitch zigzag it should have a little less of a ratchety sound to it.
see how that works. Again, stitching some thinner material, it quickly became obvious that the stitch length on the regulator lever did not correspond very well to what was actually happening at the feed dogs. So do is zero this according to the Singer manual and see if that helps. Loosen the lock screw and then turn the eccentric until the bar is at its lowest position. previous video, I also suggested if you did not have the feed log dogs properly aligned with the needle plate, uh, the way to compensate for that was to loosen the attachment screws for the feed dogs and shift them slightly. While I was looking up this adjustment in the manual, I discovered that there is actually an adjustment down here for the lateral position of the feed dogs. This is a thread pitch gauge I got in a box of stuff at a swap meet. And what it's used for is to check how many threads per inch are on standard V thread bolts or screws. It's probably. going to work just fine for what we have going here. Let's see, that's four, five, five and a half, six. Here we are. The gauge on the machine says maximum set it is supposed to be 
six threads per inch and it's actually running a bit tighter than that. Let's see what we got for seven. There we are. That is almost exactly six threads or six stitches to the inch. So, oh, time to check some thinner material and go with a single stitch zigzag. Uh, in fact, I think I'll try some stretchy material. four edges of this through my industrial serger and then I turned around and cut some pieces off so it's not quite what it could be. I am going to See how this looks. Okay. That seems to be doing fairly well. Maximum bite. I'm going to shorten the stitching a little bit more and lock it there.
Not too shabby, actually. Now, normally, when you're doing over-edging with a regular machine, you have what they call an over-edge foot, which actually has a pin that holds a thread on one side and possibly the other and keeps it from gathering in like that. But in an emergency, this looks like it would do just fine. Okay. Well, I guess that pretty much takes care of everything I had hoped to do with this today. a little bit noisy when I used it last, so this is probably a good indication it needs some lube. Just for giggles. Thank <laughs> you. 